Halloween, also known as All Hallows Eve or All Saints Eve, is a celebration observed in several countries on the 31st of October. The eve of the Western Christian Feast of All Hallows Day, it begins the three-day observance of All Hallow Tide, the time in liturgical year dedicated to remembering the dead, including saints and all the faithful departed. Halloween activities include trick-or-treating, attending Halloween costume parties, carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns, lighting bonfires, apple bobbing, divination games, playing pranks, visiting haunted extractions, telling scary stories, as well as watching horror films. In many parts of the world, the Christian religious observances of All Hallows Eve include attending church services and lighting candles on the graves of the dead remain popular, although elsewhere it is more commercial and secular celebration. Do you want to leave your mark, Alicanto High School? Are you a senior in the class of 2020? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you should go speak to Ms. Dutcher about purchasing a senior ad for the yearbook. The price is three twenty for a full page, one eighty for half, and one twenty for a quarter page. Make sure you hurry up. Deadline is November first. What's up, guys? It's Noah Ambrose back here again with another sports recap. Last night, the volleyball team season came to an end after a loss to an undefeated Osceola team. It was a great season. That I'd like to congratulate them on their success and thank the seniors for all the work they put in over the last four years. On Friday, the swim team will be at districts, and on Saturday, the cross-country team will be at regionals. Good luck to both of those teams. Now, for a video, now for, after this, we're going to show an interview with two of the cross-country athletes. And remember, basketball players, girl, girls' tryouts are this week, and guys are next week. If you're interested, just do it. Here, interviewing Tanner Letourneau about cross-country. So Tanner, are you ready for your big meet on Saturday? Mm, we're ready for it, yep. What time are you trying to shoot for? I'm shooting for an 18, just to where everybody needs to run their fastest in order for us to make it to states. So this could end up being your last meet of your high yes, school career? Yes, Saturday right? could very much end up being the last meet of my high school career. How does that feel? I don't know, it's just wild. I've been doing it for ever since I was a freshman, and it's just weird to have it finally come to an end. That's all? Thank you, Tanner, for this interview. Yep. We're here with Chase Wilson, and we're going to interview him about cross country. So, Chase, how would you summarize your season up to this point? Um, my season's gone really well. Um, started a little bit slower than what I wanted, but um, in the ultimate like end, um, I'm back where I wanted to be. So are you ready for your big meet on Saturday? I am. I'm a little nervous, but I'm pretty excited to go into it. What time are you shooting for? Um, we've never ran this course, so um, I'm going to be going for like low 17s again. Um, just kind of take it easy because we've never ran this course, but obviously uh, give them my all because it could be the last race of the season. Okay, thank you for this interview.